DMI is a bleached hardwood craft mill. We, we actually produce two species hardwood and softwood, about a half a million tons annually. SKF became involved with Peace River Pulp in, in 2005 uh, with the introduction of their integrated maintenance solutions uh, contract. The IMS directly impacts our business goals by helping us improve our reliability, improving our on-grade production, which ultimately leads to satisfaction of our business goals. SKF uh, first came on board here, uh, they did a client's needs assessment and uh, reviewed uh, all of our present operating practices as far as PMs, maintenance, vibration analysis, lubrication, oil analysis, all of what we're presently doing and then uh, helped us pull all those things together with operations reliability. SKF offers what we call an integrated maintenance solution where we try to integrate uh, products and services that SKF has to offer, including our engineering knowledge, and incorporate that into the reliability program that the site is uh, trying to establish. These mills make their money by having their equipment available to make production. And equipment availability depends upon how reliable that equipment is in terms of its performance. Since we started the contract with SKF, we've uh, implemented basically four technologies that we weren't previously using. The technologies have, uh, have proven very effective in terms of detecting problems earlier than we were previously in allowing that early intervention and mitigating downtime. It's very important to get in front of the problem uh, because you're not blindsided by anything, you know, and uh, there, there still are, are opportunities for improvement as always in, in any organization but uh, we've had many saves simply because of the systems we have in place. One of the key changes that, that's occurred through this uh, implementation of the contract with SKF is operator-driven reliability, which is really a, a cultural change for us, getting more people involved in predictive maintenance. Where the operators would now go and take vibration readings on equipment, uh, and getting them and all of the people inside the plant operations group thinking about equipment reliability. This is very valuable to us in the sense that uh, they come right out front and tell us this piece of equipment is failing. You know, you need to address it, you need to look at it, and it gives us the opportunity to time to prepare a spare, get things ready, and not impact production. We have key performance indicators that they expect us to achieve as a partner of theirs, one of which is availability, which is a reflection of how uh, reliable the equipment is and they've shown an increase of uh, between two and three percent availability, which is a significant increase. We measure the cost of bearings and lubricant, which is an indication of how well the equipment is running and, and how reliable it is. In the last two years, we've noticed a, a significant decrease in both the bearing spend and with the lubricant spend. We measure their ODR compliance ODR is the operator driven reliability where the operators are taking uh, condition monitoring data and KPI there is how well are they complying with the routes that they've been assigned. Their operator driven reliability route compliance is phenomenal. It's nearly approaching 100% in each of the areas. This has been one of our best relationships and one of our best contracts. It's, it's, it's shown some of the best results that we have. It's been a, a very good collaboration. I think SKF is a, a very good company to work with. They're a, a really good partner. They understand our, our needs and uh, you know, help us address uh, issues that we're, we have with our rotating equipment. I find SKF to be very committed to uh, the success of the contract, but also very committed to the success of their client.